I'm flying, Jack! Hey guys, and welcome back to more of Legend Zelda Scoured Sword of Full Boy V5. In the last part, we got back up to Skyloft after defeating the Fire Sanctuary, and in this part, we're going to be carrying on with the story. Now, I know I said I was going to do some more side stuff this time, but, um, turns out that we, well, we could do some, but we won't be able to do too much. So, we're going to want to head off to progress with the story. Okay, I thought was someone new then. Alright, let's just head off to Farron Woods then, because we need to head off to uh, the Sealed Grounds. So, really, we should be heading off to the Sealed Grounds. Yeah, that, anyway. Um, so, yeah, we need to go there to progress with the story, because uh, we learnt of the second gate of time, which was um, in the Sealed Grounds. Although, I don't think that guy knows who it is. Oh, about that guy, Gira, whatever his name was. So, yeah, we're going to want to head back there, and see what we can do there. Three guesses what, really. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this at all. Let's hope it goes swimmingly well, but uh, anyway though, we're nearly here. Now I'm not sure if it actually um, automatically takes you to the seal grounds, does it? No, does it not? No, no, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay, so you don't have to go there, but I'm pretty sure if you do, you will run into a cutscene straight away. So uh, let's head there now then. Oh, surprise, surprise, you don't. Oh, Alright then, okay. Now, was this train track here before? It was here before, wasn't it? Although, I'm pretty sure that bridge is broken. You know what, I can't even remember. Never mind. Never mind, never mind my puny little brain. Let's just carry on. And No, this was not here before, because we, when we ran all the way around, we came straight up to the sealed, uh, the, well, the entrance to the sealed ground. So, I wonder what's happened here. Hmm... Alright, let's head in and see what's happening. Oh, wow, let's have a look what's happening here. Yo, Link, solar rail track I put up beside, eh? What's it for? Duh, -huh. oh, you'll see before long. We talked to our granny bits. Ah, oh, your sword. There can be no doubt, the sacred flames have purified this blade. Well done, Link. That sword holds tremendous power. Mm. That power is a sacred force. It is a divine power left to us by the gods of old. The same power that is spoken of in the Ballad of the Goddess. I thought that was just music. To look upon you is to see that same great power, now flowing through you and the sword that you carry. Come, Link. You must now open the Gate of Time. Now the sacred force dwells within your blade, strike the gate of time with a scarred strike and it will surely awaken. Climb on top of the pedestal and show the gate your sword's power. You know what? I will! I'm gonna do it! Can I actually target it? No? Okay, right. Oh, of course. Whoa, whoa! No, I feel the seal is giving way once again. That terrible beast is awakening even as we speak. It is likely that the monster reacted to the sacred power given off by your sword. I wish it had not happened, but there was no other way to open the gate. So it goes. Link, you must imprison the beast once again. How many times have we actually fought him now? Is it two or three? I think this is the second time we've fought him, isn't it? Alright, bring it on. This is what I've been waiting for. It's time to break out my new toy. What? Trust me, that fire bag of tea doesn't stand a chance. Well, what are we waiting for? I'm heading out there, bitch! Alright, so I suppose we should as well, because, you know, we're kind of a hero in this adventure, so... It probably would help if we went outside. Alright, so let's see what's happening. Hey, Link! Duh! Try not to drool on your shit! I thought he was going to say shit! <laughs> Alright! Uh, draw on your shirt as you can stare at this amazing super weapon I've been working on. More powerful than the Master Sword? I don't think so. I call it the Grusinator. <laughs> Leaves you speechless, doesn't it? That's only natural. You wouldn't believe how much time I put into building this beauty. Here, check it out! First, I got all the fences clutter in the area out of the way. Then I laid down rails for her to run on. All by myself, of course. I don't know what came over me. I had no clue I had the talent to make something like this, you know. Anyway, you just tell me where you want me to place my shots, and I'll put a hurling... Put, oh, sorry, put a hurting on an ugly monster. Well, he's kind of handsome in a way. I mean, 
he also he, the uh, the whiteness in his toes bring out the uh, blackness in his scales. That, that made no sense. Hang on though, that must have showed up a smidge sooner than I was expecting. There are a few final adjustments I gotta make before she can move on the rails I put down. I'll call out to you when she's ready for action. Till then, do whatever you can to hold off the beast. Sounds like the fat guy off the chase. Alright, anyway, let's uh, just jump down here then and see what's happening on. And it's not even out yet, what is that old biddy going on about? There's nothing going on. Nothing whatsoever. And, oh, did it get a bit darker when we came down here? Is it me, or is he a bit more red? Did he have arms before? I swear this is the only second. I swear this is the second time we fought him. Um. Okay. Either way, he's a lot harder this time round. I can't remember fighting him once, but look at that. Seems like a worldly friend grew itself a pair of hands. Yep, yeah, it's it's the second time I faced him. Great timing. I hope it knows how to catch because my machine has a mean right arm. When she's all loaded up. Bruce, so many window innuendos you're saying today. Alright, so let's uh, just do what we did last time and try and take out his toes. Uh, you've got to want to move out of the way because its electrical uh, pulses can move a lot uh, further than they could before. And um, eventually it'll start moving faster like it did before at the end of its first phase. Yeah, it's doing it now. You have to be really careful when you're travelling in between its legs because, my god. Alright, come on. And what the hell's it doing? Oh god, it's climbing up! Hey Link, the machine's all loaded and ready to smash! If that floppy sack of team tries to climb the wall, I could blast it off from here with a bomb! When you want some backup from me, just send the signal up with directional up button for the harp thing. Even though you're not going to be using the harp at all. Uh, let me take out the rest of its toes. Right, there we go. Lovely jubblers. Now, oh hang on, hang on, whoa, steady on love, steady on. Right, let's just call Groose then. Alright, it's time for Groose to explode into action! Adjust the machine's position with analog and aim at your target the Wii Remote. Once you finish aiming, press A to launch your bomb. If it hits, you'll stun the scaly sucker. If you forget the controls, press 2 anytime you're in control of the Groose in to review the basics. I bet Link's thinking, you what love? Alright, so uh, let's just uh, shoot it here, we should all be good. Did I miss? Hang on. Okay, I clearly missed there. Oh god, the game is broken. Um, hang on, one sec. Right, can I take out his hands now, or do I have to put them... Um... Oh wait, his hands are already gone. Oh shit, Link, run round. Can I drink that stamina potion? Right, just, no, dr drink it, you little piece of shit. There we go, right. Run, 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 run. So that, you do have a time limit for this, I know it hasn't been a clear in the past, but he will recover quickly, if you uh, leave it too long. Oh god, Bruce wants to talk. Oh, hang on, hang on, whoa, whoa, whoa. So you need to move the analog around and you can, uh... Right, there we go, that should get him. Lovely. Does that stun him? Right, okay. So it didn't knock him over, but it stunned him. And we were all the way over here, so it's probably not going to do any damage. Alright, so we got rid of two toes, I guess. Maybe three, if we're lucky. Right, come on, get rid of that foot. Yes, nice one. Right, come on, get rid of them all. Oh, yes, nice one. I do believe you can get rid of his hands, but, you know, you don't really have a need to, I suppose. Oh, why is it all the way over there, seriously? And this stamina potion is only going to last for three, mis three minutes, isn't it? But, you know, that should be okay, because we should be able to take it out in three minutes, I suppose. I mean, we're having a pretty good run here, considering this boss could be one of the most annoying in the game. And, oop, oh, and there we go. I'm a snake. Oh, right, okay, let's uh, find one lemma. Oh, God, it's running out now. Okay, right, let's just head up here then. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Um, where is it? Oh, it's all the way up there. Uh, can we get Groose to fire at it? Let me just um, 
No, actually, no, I won't. I won't um, risk it, actually, because I don't know if it actually does anything. So I'll just wait for him to uh, stand up. Uh, stand up, please. Stand up. All right, thank you. Lovely jubblers. All right, now he's pushing that thing out again. All right, wait until we're near him. Actually, no, we're, we're quite near him now, so I think I've given it enough time. Right, get the Grusinator out, then. And stun that bastard. Okay, right, let's take out his toes, you little motherfucker. Right, come on, go. And I've never really used the word before, do I? So, I do apologise for that, it's not really my vocabulary. Right, come on. Oh, shit, whoa, 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 he's going super fast now. Now, I do believe we can actually shoot arrows at him, but, you know, it won't be much uh, good. Oh, crap, come on, you're nearly down, you scaly sucker. Well, I, I like what Goose called him, I will admit. And there we go. Right, okay, this should be the last time we have to push it back in before he's defeated. And, oh no. Why is he all over the place? Right, get up here. And then, jump down. And why is the stamina still going down, even though it's clearly that... Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Right, okay, let's uh, just... Uh, like that. Like that. And well, voila. Now, Link, strike the ceiling spike with a skyward strike and restore the seal quickly. Okay, he's, he's never talked like that before. Or oh, she's never talked like that before. Or he, I, I don't know, it's a tranny. Let's just say it's a transvestite. Right, it's a drag queen. He loves doing what he's doing. We should just leave him to it. Or her. Right, anyway. Let's uh, get rid of this baby then. Nice work there, Link. Of course, you couldn't have done it without me, but no need to thank Bruce. I know I saved your tail. Now let's get the Gator Time thing up and running. I'll go on ahead. For some reason, it couldn't just teleport us to the room, but... Anyway, though, now that we've done with the second battle of the Imprison... Is it the Imprisoned? I thought I was going to say the Imprisonment, but that's not the right word at all, is it? And why is our Stamina Gods going down when we have the Stamina Potion? Let me just see, like... Okay, it's about to run out. Let me just see what happens if it goes completely empty. Come on, are we up? Oh no, it goes slower. It goes down slower, doesn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember now. All right, fair enough. And I thought we like didn't lose any stamina at all, but I think that's for the uh, the upgraded version. So, and I've gone completely the wrong way here. So, let's head over there. And uh, did we just? Gl oh no, we didn't. I thought we glitched the stamina graphics then, so that the normal meter was actually the stamina meter. But I mean, the normal stamina meter was like the upgraded stamina meter, but. Anyway, let's head in here. It seems you were successful in imprisoning the monster yet again. You have my thanks, Link. As do you, Groose. I do not wish to dwell on what uh, may have happened if you two hadn't been here. Duh her What hang on, I don't know how he's saying that, but either way. Oh, you give me too much credit, Granny. So it is a woman! Oh thank god. You were the one that got me to stop feeling sorry for myself and put my energy into doing what I could do to help. I did what was necessary to get you to realise your full potential. 
Link, you must wonder what just what it is you've been fighting out there in the Great Pit. There is much I could tell you, but suffice to say, it is the root of the evil we face. When you pass through the gate of time, you shall learn more. We may seal it and reseal it into its prison a thousand times, but it will always shut the bonds up and confine it. Such is its awesome power. Probably best not to compliment it. You must destroy it at its source or suffer this fate again and again. There is no time to lose. Hit the gate with a scoured strike. Come on already! Charge that sword of yours and hit with that sacred force stuff Granny was talking about and zap the gate of time! You know what, the goose? I will! Indeed. Now then, go! Go to the gate! I don't know why Granny's voice changes each time, but... Either way, let's hit this baby! Do not fear it. This is what we've waited for. At long last, the gate has been reactivated. Mm. Standing before you is a path that transcends the flow of time. It is a portal to the past, to the very place where Zelda now waits. Go bravely, Link. If everything is as I suspect, the reunion with Zelda you fought for so hard for lies beyond this gate. Nah, don't worry about me. I'm gonna hand back here, Link. That stupid monster doesn't know when to quit. And Granny here keeps yapping on and on about how we never it. <laughs> keeps yapping on and on about how we never know when it might be bus free again. Someone's got to stick around and guard the place. Might as well be me. Besides, if I'm not here, who's gonna look after the old girl? I you know what. Nah, forget about it. When you see Zelda, tell her I said, What's up? What a lovely moment ruined. By me! And here we are at the Temple of Hylia. So we go ahead and talk to Impa here. Hey! At last, I've been expecting you, Link. You 
You are doubtless overwhelmed, so I will explain things as simply as I can. This is the Temple of Hylia. Little can be known as a sealed temple sometime in the future. You stand in the past, ages before your own time. Here, the goddess Hylia has only just sealed away demise. And little time has passed since the goddess sat out the outcropping of rock into the sky that will one day become Skyloft. It is true to its name, you have passed through the gate of time to an era in a distant past. You'll have many questions, but for now, you must proceed back through the great doors behind you. It is there that the person you've risked life and blood to defend for waits for you. Okay, that sounds pretty intriguing. But, and I, that's a big but, yep, yep, but, right, it's a but. Uh, but we'll be doing that in the next part. So, in this part, we did what we did. We defeated the Imprisoned for the second time, got through the gate of time, and found out some pretty weird shit is going on. So, in the next part, we're going to be going through those double doors that I, highly, I mean, um, Impa was talking about, and finding out what waits behind there. So, I shall see you then.